yet another very, very brief video. Not everyone is going to want the new user interface that was within RedShark. So I'm going to show you how to disable it if you do not want to run with it. So I'm just going to open up a random game here. It doesn't matter what I opened. Just to get to RedShark options. And you're simply going to go to your settings. Driver. You're going to go down to where it says menu driver. I have it set to X and B right now. All you have to do is just change it to R... GUI, which would be regular GUI. Then simply exit RegArc. Reopen. Now we have the old boring menu driver for our GUI. But if you want to change it back, you're going to go back to settings, driver, menu driver, and change it back to XMB. And again, exit RetroArc. Then reopen. And you have it back. So if you don't want to be part of the cool crowd, by all means, go back to RGUI. But if you want to be able to do a lot of the features that are only available in this interface right here, stick with it. There's a very, very minor bit of difference between speed on them, so... I would highly recommend sticking with this new cool crowd uh, user interface here, but if you want to go back to RGUI, again, settings, driver, menu driver, RGUI, then exit, reopen, and here we go, boring, but I'm going to change it back. Be very careful about changing other drivers. If you start getting around to changing these other drivers, you're going to end up breaking your controller, your sound, your video, etc. I would, for right now, just change the menu driver. And if, for instance, you end up messing up by changing something, say you try changing your audio driver or changing your audio and all of a sudden you have no sound for anything in RetroArc, just completely uninstall RetroArc and then reinstall it and you'll be good to go again. That's a good thing to do when you mess up on controller inputs, audio settings, video settings. Just uninstall and reinstall. But right now I put it back to XMB. I'm going to exit RetroArc again. Then reopen and make sure I have my cool crowd uh, user interface again. I'm good to go here and I have all my awesome stuff the way it is. So again, that's how you change from RGUI to XMB and vice versa. So that's, by default, I'm going to have it set to XMB because a lot of the new options for 1.71 are only accessible while it's in this mode. But if you want to go back to the old boring way of RGUI, go for it. 